All right, so it's finally here. I have my Apple card here that I got from UPS. It was delivered UPS, and I have been insanely excited about getting this card. I think I applied for the card uh, in August, and when I applied for it, there was basically like a six to eight day business, uh, you know, like business days before they can deliver the card or ship the card out to me. So I finally got it here in the UPS package here, so I'm gonna be doing the unenveloping of the Apple card. That's what we're talking about in this video. But before we get started, I have a quick message. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dwayne with HowToBuildCreditTV.com. And on this channel, we talk about everything you need to know about credit, credit cards, and how to make money using credit cards. So if this sounds like something in which you're interested, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so there's been a lot of hype about the Apple card or the Apple credit card. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a huge Apple fan. As a matter of fact, I just ordered the Apple Watch Series 5 because I dropped my Apple Watch Series 2, I think about three weeks ago and shattered the screen. I was really upset because I love my Apple Watch and it's just super convenient. So I guess I said that to say that I'm pretty much an Apple head. I have an iPhone, I have a MacBook Pro, I have the Apple Watch, I now have the Apple Card, and we're gonna unenvelope this particular card from Apple in this video. So what I'm gonna do for this next portion of the video is jump on over to the table and do the unenveloping of the Apple Card. So I'll see you guys over on the table. Okay, so we're here and we're gonna do the unenveloping of the Apple Card. Um, let me flip it around here. And I will open that. And it's pretty straightforward. I'm sure you guys have seen this a lot on YouTube a lot of times. That's it. Like, literally, there's nothing else inside the envelope, inside the uh, UPS. I was going to say FedEx. Inside the UPS envelope. That's it. Um, wow. It's very, very simple. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it here. There's a small arrow right here, as you guys can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and tear, goodness, I almost broke my fingernail. Okay, that's intense. <laughs> okay, sure, well, sure, we'll just do that. I think it was supposed to rip like this, but details. All right. Gonna slide this up here. That's pretty much it. That's all that's in there. Nothing else in here. So this is pretty much it. This is this is the I don't even want to call it an envelope. It's just like a little folder, right? You see? It's like like a like a passport. Uh, of course Apple does a really good job branding. It's the Apple logo. And inside is your Apple card. So I'm gonna open it. And there it is, just sitting there looking real, real pretty. Um, you guys can't see this on the camera, but <clears throat> it actually has, let me see if I can get close. It, it's really cool. It's like um, the Apple logo looks like there's like a mirror, you know, for lack of a better term, uh, around the Apple logo. So it's pretty clean. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate the card right now. So I'm going to grab my phone real quick and then uh, do the activation process. Let me unlock it here. All right. And I'm going to put the phone right here. And wow, sweet. It just popped up like you do when you, you're pairing like some AirPods or uh, anything Apple related that has the easy Bluetooth connection. So I'm just going to click on activate. And that's pretty much it. The car's activating here. It says your card is ready. It was already connected to the wallet, so it's not a big deal. And I'm just going to click on continue. And it opened up the wallet app, which, uh, as you guys can see there. So currently I have $10.81 on my Apple card. Um, so it just opened up the wallet app, which I'm not sure why I did that. But my card is activated. I really don't know how many times I'm going to actually use the actual card. Let me go ahead and take it out here. 
I used it a couple of times uh, when I was in Costa Rica for Uber because um, it was my Uber card was connected to it, um, which is pretty straightforward. Now let me show you guys the back of the card real quick. So here's the back of the card, just like you guys, most of you guys probably have seen already on YouTube. Um, camera's having a hard time focusing there, but it's nice. Uh, it's pretty simple, clean. Uh, it feels nice. I mean, it's a matte finish. And the card feels really nice in your hand. And, um, you know, once again, it's a, it's a clean, simple design. Um, of course, there's, you know, this is a titanium card. So you can kind of see the thickness here on the card. Yikes. It's funny because I've seen people do this in their videos and they're like, oh, this card's kind of hard to bend. This card is harder to bend than other metal cards. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I know that uh, I have the Amex Gold card. I'm going to go grab it real quick and kind of see what the differences are. Give me one second. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed my American Express card, uh, my American Express Gold card, and as you can see, I'm holding both cards here. I never thought that I was going to be this particular person to be doing a comparison as far as the thickness of the cards, um, and then, of course, dropping the drop test, right? So as you can see here, this is the Apple card, and that's kind of the thickness of that, and this is the Gold card. Looks a little bit thinner. Uh, the camera is having just the greatest time focusing there uh, and this is what they look like together right so you have the apple card just appears to be a little bit thinner now what's weird is that with the amex gold card you can see that i can bend it i can bend it uh easier than i can the actual apple card i'll show you guys that here's the apple card and i'm trying to bend it and it's I mean, of course, you can kind of bend it, right? You see, I'm doing that little workout there, my finger workout. But uh, it's a lot harder to bend. And so it's actually kind of weird uh, because I've seen people do that. But I was like, you know, I mean, like how how different could it possibly be? And then, of course, the ultimate drop test, right? Like it's very weird. I like the Amex Gold card. Like here's a drop test on that. All right, that's the Amex Gold card. And then this is the Apple card. Now... It's weird, like that noise to me is just so clanky and like I don't think it's that great of a, of a sound. Um, it's, it sounds cheap, which I don't know how cheap sounds necessarily, but uh, I will say that the Apple card is more of a solid card for sure. It's a lot harder to bend, right? So for the people that want to hear the drop one more time, because I know we have those nerds out there, uh, myself included at one, at one point, here's the Amex Gold card. That's what that sounds like. And then here's the Apple card. I mean, whatever that does for you. There it is. Um, but I'm excited about the Apple card. Um, I was going to use it and purchase my Apple Watch. I went ahead and bought the Apple Watch yesterday, but I didn't use the Apple card, which you get 3% on Apple purchases. But the reason why I did not use the Apple card when I bought my Apple Watch was because I, um, I wanted to go ahead and get... Uh, my sign up bonus with my Amex uh, Hilton Honors card, which if I spend 2000 bucks in three months, I'll get 90,000 points. So I did not use my Apple card for that Apple purchase, but I will be making more Apple purchases in the future. So anyway, I just want to do the unboxing and show you guys the Apple card. I mean, it's clean, guys. This matte finish is sick. It is so clean. Um, anyway, thanks for watching this portion of the video. I'll see you guys back in just one second. All right, so there you have it. Here's another look at the Apple card. This card is real clean, guys. This matte finish is nice, and it feels good in your hand. Here's the back here of the Apple card. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but it's a pretty sweet card. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm really happy with the card. Uh, I don't expect anything but amazement from Apple and I feel like they delivered on the design of the card of course it's Apple I mean they're really really good about giving you a nice finished polished product now of course the Apple card is gonna be you know it's gonna get worn like any other credit card I mean the more you swipe it the more it's gonna get scratched and scuffed up my Amex gold card is the same thing like clearly when I first got the card it was really nice but because we swipe it or inject it into the machine insert it into the machine uh, for the chip reader, of course, it's going to get, you know, used. So I'm interested to see what this card looks like after you swipe it quite a bit. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I don't think I'll be swiping this card a lot because with the Apple card, it's a cashback card and you're only able to get 3% cash back on 
Apple purchases. So let's say you download something in the App Store or you're paying for Apple Music or you're buying Apple products directly with Apple. So you're not gonna get 3% if you buy an Apple product like let's say at Best Buy, but you will get 3% if you bought that Apple product from Apple Online or at the Apple Store. So you get 3% cash back for that and then you get 2% cash back on Apple Pay purchases. Now in Houston, we have Chick-fil-A that accepts Apple Pay. We also have Target that accepts Apple Pay. Of course, there are other places that accept Apple Pay as well, um, but clearly I don't frequent them, so I don't know. But uh, you're able to get 2% cash back on your Apple Pay purchases, and then you get 1% cash back on everything else. I think when you use the card, the physical card, you actually just get 1%. So that means like if you go to Target, and you use the physical card instead of using Apple Pay, you're gonna get 1% cash back as opposed to if you used Apple Pay at Target, you would get 2% cash back. So that's just a quick review of the Apple card. I think it's decent. I planned on buying my Apple Watch with the Apple card, but of course I didn't do that because I needed to get some, uh, I needed to meet my minimum spend for my Amex Hilton Honors card, which is a $2,000 minimum spend. So I went ahead and ordered the Apple Watch yesterday and I basically got just the base model, except the band is a leather band. So it ended up costing $479 and then with tax it was $518. So I went ahead and pre-ordered my Apple Watch because I broke my Apple Watch Series 2, which was two years old, well, which wasn't a big deal. But the fact that I broke it, the screen, it was shattered and it was like, uh, more than 150 bucks to replace and I was just like, you know what? I'm good. I'm just gonna get another watch So um, anyway, the Apple card I think is a good card if you like the video Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps our channel quite a bit Feel free to share this video with somebody that you think may find it helpful Also, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below the video I'll do my best to answer the question as soon as I see it. Thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate it very very much once again my name is Dwayne with HowToBuildCreditTV.com and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.